Hey, my name is Red, and um, short notice, I was just asked to fill in, and I am perfectly happy to do it. I'm, don't mind me, I just was enjoying my Friday night, and now I am going to talk about my bullying story. Now, a lot of people think bullying just goes on with high school, and it, it does, and I was never really bullied in school. I did have this one incident where I was on the soccer team and it was my junior year and our soccer team no it was my sophomore year sorry sophomore year and the the team hadn't really had it at all won a soccer game and I'm thinking I don't think my team would be too disappointed if I didn't show up if I had a good reason now it wasn't that I was you know sick or running off to a movie or partying or anything like that I had a really good opportunity for an interview with this well-known school and it had a program for media broadcasting and journalism and it's something I really wanted to do so I went to the captain of the team a girl in senior class and I explained it and she's like, look, you're going to make some people mad because they're going to be feeling like you're letting down the team. But you have to think, what is going to be your outcome? Are you always going to play soccer? Are you going to go professionally? Which I would have loved to go on professionally. But as soon as I hit sophomore year, media broadcasting and journalism was like my main goal. And I would do anything, even push aside my favorite sport. And so I'm like, yeah, it, you're right. The greater outcome, if I go to this school, I'm going to learn more. So by the time I get to college, I'm going to have a little bit more knowledge than these students that just come in and never, ever done it. So um, I talked to the soccer coach, and of course she was a little upset, and the team was very upset. I was taken into a classroom as a soccer meeting the next day, and was pretty much told in not straight out form but in little codes that any student who transferred into another school in that area would not be allowed to play soccer and I was called so many names in the book they said stuff to me as I went down the hallway about being a traitor and letting the team down and that is sort of a form of bullying in a way you know, because they were, they were bullying me so much into just saying, hey, I'll be at the game instead of missing this really important interview. And they try to let me down, or try to bring me down, I should say. But that's the thing. You can't let others bring you down. You got to stay strong, no matter what they're like saying in your head or in your face or behind your back or down the hallway loudly so you can hear. It just doesn't matter in the long run because you need to just continue living your life the way you want to do it that's going to lead you into accomplishing your dream. The sad thing is I'm out of high school and I have gone past all this bullying stuff but recently it occurred in my life by adults that know better and why I say that is because they're my aunts and they're kids. I posted a video just, you know, telling them how I felt, no names or anything, and, and now on my YouTube wall, I'll get comments from my family calling me so many bad stuff and trying to, you know, air my dirty laundry that I don't have. It's pretty much all makeup. But they're trying so hard to get me to shut down my YouTube account. And I know this makes me happy. I love meeting people and I love giving advice and I love doing random stuff. But they dislike it so much. They dislike this one trait of me, which is doing these videos, that they're going to do anything to sabotage it. And they know by words and things they say that's gonna like, get to me more than anything else. So what did I do? I've blocked every time they make a new account. 
but you need to focus on you. You need to just let the surrounding people that's bringing you down, you, you kind of need to put a muzzle on them. And how you can do that is try your best to ignore them and keep your eye on your goals, on your dreams, on being successful. That's all you can really do. And that's why I'm a kind of strong person. I say kind of because I'm still working on it like a lot because this is recent and I'm not used to this bullying stuff. And that's why we need, we all need to just come together and we need to put a stop to it. We all need to stay strong and keep our eyes on the prize. Alrighty. Bye. Oh, oh, you can also check out my channel.